Okay, good to see you guys. All right, good morning. It is Monday and March 21st. Yesterday was the first day of spring. Woohoo! New beginnings, right? Spring is here, and I love that. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, and I think that this is a great conversation to have today because it is the first, uh, well, the second day of spring, and it is an opportunity for us to take a look at how we can bring in some new thoughts and new beginnings, right? Because it does not um, only have to be around the first of the year. We have an opportunity right now to set our minds and to renew our minds, which is a great uh, part of what we love about spring because it is a new beginning. And I wonder in thinking about this new beginning, you know, I think at the, at the first time, at the first of the year, we are naturally more excited. We're thinking about this new year rolling out. Um, we, we set our goals, we set our intentions. And I also wonder if we were really honest with ourselves, if we wouldn't um, admit that we also have a lot of confidence in our ability to get to the goal, right? And because we're positive and, and excited and energetic and, and really inspired by these new goals, could we also be a little bit too confident about getting to the finish line, right? And so now we see we are winding down on the first quarter. And I'm just curious, where are you in the, in the pursuit of your goals? Are you currently on track? Or is this an opportunity right now to use this spring and this new season to create a new set of thoughts in our mind and move ourselves forward in a way that will help us pick up momentum, right? And so in that conversation, I'm gonna ask you, and if you're taking notes, write this down. What holds me back from consistency? What is keeping you from being consistent in the pursuit of your goals? And if we were to really get into our mindset, could there be some things at play that hold us back? What do I mean by that? Well, our thoughts can either move us forward or hold us back. And what can also hold us back is getting a little too comfortable, right? Or being stuck in our comfort zone. And I think for a lot of us, um, we are operating in a comfort zone and we don't even know it. Could that be true? Use the chat or you know your comments on Facebook. Let me know if this is speaking to you. Okay, so if we acknowledge um, that we're in a comfort zone, does that bring us an opportunity for amazing things to start happening, right? And, and here's the thing, when we really talk about our comfort zone, and again, if we just get really honest with ourselves, can we also acknowledge that the reason we call it a comfort zone is because it's comfortable? <laughs> It's, it's easier, right? It's easier to continue to do things the way that we've been doing them. Uh, it's less risky, right? Some of us are, are a little risk averse. Um, it's what we know. And for some of us, we think it's working. Can anybody acknowledge that? Like, you don't realize it's not working, perhaps until someone points that out to you. And, and I don't mean, you know, someone who's being critical. I mean, maybe, you know, through feedback or coaching or accountability, right? Or examining your goals or, you know, on Monday morning, Mojo, Anna puts a question to you and you get thinking about it, right? And so as we are winding down this first quarter and you're looking at your, your goal versus where you are and you see that there's a gap, we need to identify what's created the gap. And I think for some of us, it could be that this comfort zone has kept us, it, you know, it's kept us working in the same capacity. It's kept us working in the same way that we're used to working, right? And so if you're seeking out opportunity um, and you wanna be able to continue to grow and put your best foot forward, then it would stand to reason we have to move out of the comfort zone, yes? 
Easier said than done, my friends, right? That's what I know someone's thinking right now. And I'm with you, I got you. Um, because again, most times we don't even know that we're living in this comfort zone. And so this morning I'm going to, you know, really, I think, challenge you to examine this and think about this. Um, and so why is it that we don't know we're in a comfort zone? Well, because like I said, it feels comfortable, but I think more importantly, we just think it's working. We just think that the way that we're doing things and the way that we're thinking and the way that we're processing things around us is normal for us. It just, it works until something challenges us to think differently, okay? And I trust that this is that conversation for, for a lot of you. Um, and so if, you, if we don't recognize that we're living in a comfort zone, we can really be stuck. We can be trapped in our own thoughts, we can be trapped in our own activities, in our own actions, and we realize we're getting the same results over and over again, right? And what is the definition of insanity? So if we want different, we have to think different. And in order to, to get different, we have to act different, right? So that means we have to look at moving out of our comfort zone. And, and here's the thing that we're gonna, I'm gonna share with you this morning. There are steps to this, there are stages to this because what, what can also be very um, overwhelming for some of you and what can actually keep you in your comfort zone is you believing that you can go from your comfort zone to growth in one step. That's not possible, right? It's overwhelming. And how do we eat an elephant? one bite at a time. So there are four stages of moving out of your comfort zone. So if you're gonna take notes, this is the time to pick up your pen. Um, and so again, we're not gonna take a quantum leap. We are not gonna go from feeling, you know, from in the comfort zone to the growth zone in one step. We're gonna do this in a process. So step one is acknowledging that you're in a comfort zone. Step one is knowing that you are playing it safe. Step one is knowing that your stability is actually just stunting your growth, right? Because safe and stable is not what I'm referring to when I say consistent, right? Consistent, I'm talking about consistent um, actions and building habits, right? That help you move forward. When you're, when you're um, safe and stable, you create this cocoon around you and it's just stunting your growth. It's sometimes we can protect ourselves too much, right? Sometimes we can coddle children too much. Sometimes we coddle adults too much, right? And we can acknowledge that it's not helping that person break through to that next level of achievement. Well, we do that to ourselves. So that is step one is to just get really honest with yourself and, and acknowledge, I think I've been playing it too safe. I think I've been letting myself off the hook. I think that I've been looking for the tried and true and easy way, and I have to, I have to be willing to mix it up a little bit, right? And, and here's the thing, in this stage, we have to know and start to accept that trial and error is part of life, that sometimes when we don't play it safe and try new things, we might make a mistake and, and it's okay, and it's okay. So in this stage, there's a lot of self-talk and a little bit of that inner coach has to show up. And honestly, this could be an opportunity for you to seek out another coach, right? Now, I know that um, I really am appreciative and grateful that you allow me to be your coach on Monday mornings. Yeah, is that enough, right? Could you be looking or, or be really needing more than that? So if that's the case, you know, talk to me about that, actually. Um, so remember that... In this process of knowing that you're in a, in a comfort zone, you're also gonna be seeking out ways to, to change it up, right? And again, we're not going from one quantum leap right to the growth zone. We need to look at first changing our mindset. So that's what this is in stage one. It's a lot about mindset. And here's the thing, guys, I want you to be excited about it. It's okay to say, I've been in a comfort zone right? Or I've been, I hate the word rut, but you know, that's some of the, the language that we use, right? Okay. So be excited about it because what you, what you don't acknowledge, you can't fix. So your awareness in this stage is your power. Your awareness is your power. And that's, what's going to help you get into stage two. So stage two 
is where we move from the comfort zone to the fear zone. Yeah, and this is part of the process. We must acknowledge that if we're willing to step out of our comfort zone, it might be scary. It might be fearful because you've created this, this habitual way of thinking and doing, and now you're going to look at doing things differently. So in the fear zone, a lot of things start, start showing up, right? We might have some change in that self-talk. So by us being honest about this being stage two, I want you to prepare yourself for this. The other thing that starts to show up in stage two is we become vulnerable in the fear zone. What are we vulnerable to? Our, not only our own thoughts, but what we think are other people's reactions to us coming out of our comfort zone, other people's opinions, thoughts, and judgments. We become more vulnerable to that, right? Because when you start to think different and act different, people will notice and you're going to be more vulnerable to, to their feedback. Um, or you might even find yourself asking permission of other people, right? Now, it doesn't sound like, hey, may I step out of my comfort zone and work on this? No, it sounds like, um, so I was thinking about doing blah, 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 blah. What do you think? right? You seek other people's opinion, which really is seeking their approval and you don't need their approval. You, you don't need their approval. You need to know what your vision is for your, yourself, for your activities and move in the direction that you know is right for you, right? So in this fear zone, we, we feel that, that anxiety almost, right? Of, of knowing that we're moving out of what we have become used to or complacent about, right? And so in the fear zone, uh, we, start to, we start to, you know, examine ourselves in a way that puts us under a little bit of a microscope, okay? So knowing this means you can be prepared for it. So I want you to be prepared for fear. And remember, what is fear? False evidence appearing real. So I promise you, my love, that 99% of what you're going to be fearful of is not even probably possible. Okay. And, and I know I, I said something about anxiety. Okay. Now I'm not talking about an anxiety disorder. I'm talking about being a human being and that normal feeling of anxiety that can show up. And what if you could embrace that? What if you could embrace that to a degree where it could work to your advantage? Because nothing grows in a comfort zone. So when you move into the fear zone and you start to, to you know, talk to yourself about taking risk and you start to feel that fear or anxiety, use that to your advantage. Use that as an opportunity to create energy that will move you forward. Because without that anxiety or fear, without any kind of conflict, chaos, you know, or um, anything out of the norm, can we grow? Can we really, we don't, we don't develop ourselves and our skill set when things are easy. We really only develop in conflict, right? When we get to, to use leadership, when we get to use cognitive thinking and problem solving, uh, our influence, right? That's when those things are, are put to the test, not when things are easy. So in our comfort zone, we're not using our best tools. So know that in the fear zone, that's what I want you to tell yourself, right? Because you have to ask yourself, what is more important to me, right? So as I start to do my breathing and work through my fear zone, I have to remind myself, what is the purpose here? Why am I working so hard to get out of my comfort zone? It's because I want to move from here to there, because I want to break through. I want to fight this feeling of of being average or apathetic around what I can accomplish. I want more, so therefore I have to be willing to do different, okay? And so you have to ask yourself, you know, is it more about my perception of my reality or is it about my purpose? Is it about my potential or is it about conforming to what I think someone else expects of me, right? Is it about, working to reveal my greatness, or is it about feeling more comfortable, right? So you have to really ask yourself, what is more important to you, right? Because it's not about someone's approval, it's about our achievement, 
write that down. That was a good one. It's not about anyone's approval. It's about our achievement. All right, so now we're gonna move into the third phase of leaving our comfort zone. And this is the performance stage. This is where we start to do dif different things. We start to learn, right? And in this um, stage, as we're learning, we are trying new things, right? So think about small children, think about babies. They spend their first years in the learning stage nonstop, right? That's how we learn how to uh, talk, how to feed ourselves, how to walk, right? So they're always in the learning stage. Now, if you spend any time around young children, you'll know that it's not always, um, well, let's just put it this way. Sometimes their learning is messy, right? Feeding themselves is messy. Uh, they try to get up on their two feet, they fall down. Um, you know, they're, they're trying to say words and it sounds like babble at first, right? Well, so that's what I want you to realize that in the learning stage, it's not perfect. It is about working through it. It's awkward, it's new, and you just got to keep focused on where you want to go, right? Just like a baby. The baby sees us walking. The baby is focused on what that is. And so they, they get up, they fall down, they get up, they fall down, they take a step, they take a step backwards, they take two steps, and then suddenly they're running, okay? No, it, we are the same creature that we were at six months old. So in the learning stage, you're gonna fall down and it's okay because you're going to be resilient about the fact that you're moving out of your comfort zone, right? So your mind is still talking to you about what the goal was in the first place, was to get out of the comfort zone, to get moving into something new, right? It's a new beginning. And I'm tying this into spring. Use this as your opportunity right now. It's a new beginning. So in this, in this learning stage, you're seeking opportunity. Write that down. I'm seeking opportunity. And it's okay if you struggle a little bit. That's how you learn. You will all, your brain learns through the struggle. Your brain wants to be challenged, so it's okay. Without struggle, we can't really get to our full potential. Your full potential just doesn't show up one day because you're taking it easy. Your full potential shows up in the struggle, okay? So you wanna keep learning and you wanna keep growing because, and you wanna keep challenging your thinking, right? That's the key. If you're looking for, you know, how do I really get to, this, this higher level of acting, being, doing, and having, stop focusing on the having and focus on how you can be and do, right? Because I think for a lot of us, we focus on having. We, we, we desire certain things and we want certain things and it's great to be goal-oriented, right? It's great to set visions on, on what you want. Yet remember that you can't have until you be and do. So that's why this growing is so important. Now, how can, so in stage four, we're in growth. We're in thriving, right? That's finally when we've left the comfort zone, right? We, 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 we started by being aware we were in the comfort zone. We moved into the fear zone. Stage three is the learning phase. Stage four, you're thriving. You're out of the growth zone. And what does that look like? It looks like you have this whole new outlook on life and all the things that I just talked to you about over the last 15 or 20 minutes is what you have accepted as your reality, that nothing grows in a, in a comfort zone. That fear is part of life. I just have to use it to my advantage because fear is, is false evidence and I have to know that in that fear and that anxiety and that struggle and that stress, I can, I can do hard things. I can show up in a big way. I can, I can logically problem solve. I can seek out new opportunities and I can move past that into learning, right? That I can go from crawling to walking to running that I can uh, expand my knowledge base, that I can try new things, that I can think differently, right? That all starts to happen in the learning phase. And now we're thriving. Now we're working at a high level. 
Okay, but keep in mind that as you work to that high level and you apply all these new things that you've learned and you apply all these new ways of thinking that at some point that's going to become natural to you and a comfort, a new comfort zone might show up. Now that is not to end this on a, oh my God, really? So all this work is for nothing because I'm going to show up in another comfort zone? It is for everything, guys, because it's part of how we grow and evolve and develop. Yes, another comfort zone will show up. It'll be a different kind of comfort zone, but the comfort zone shows up because you master those things that you just learned, right? You master that way of thinking. You master that way of acting. And so you, it becomes natural to you. And so knowing this is acknowledging when you feel like you're hitting your head on that ceiling of achievement. And so you start the process all over again, but that's evolution. That's evolution and that's okay. That's good. So how can you, if you're feeling inspired, if you're feeling like I've woke you up a little bit this morning, that's my purpose on Monday mornings. Um, how can you create a theme around this for the week, right? How can you start to move out of your comfort zone and work through this, these four stages? Um, I would say even the smallest thing could be really big in helping you do this, right? So I think that it's about knowing, and, and we can't assume that that small change is not going to be significant. Any change can compound on itself and create a new habit. So even taking a different way to work every day for the next five days, right, or four days, uh, could be a, a one small way that you start to change the way you see things literally right? So mix up your routine. Look at your daily habits right now and get honest about what, what really has had no major like impact on, on moving you forward or creating progress, right? Like brushing our teeth every day is important because we want healthy teeth, right? We, we want to smile and not have, uh, not be missing our teeth. So we know that that's, that's important, but there are little things we do every day that really may not have such an impact on us. So could we change that up, right? Could you learn something new this week? Could you pick up a book that maybe you've been saying you want to read and actually start reading that book this week? Could you take a class? Could you create a new experience for yourself, right? And so believe me when I tell you that these little things will start to create a whole new passageway in your mind, right? We've talked about your, your neuroplasticity. Your brain's going to seek out more new things, right? But challenge yourself. Challenge yourself to say, what can I learn that would up my game professionally? What could I learn that would use a different part of my brain, right? So maybe it's, I don't know, some kind of craft, some kind of woodworking, some kind of, you know, a uh, physical challenge, right? Running, whatever it might be. What can you do to shake up your physical routine, right? Could you walk more? Could you set a goal around how many steps you want to get in a day? See, all these things start to compound on themselves and it creates a new thirst for change. And that's what we're talking about today is getting out of our comfort zone, right? So what can you start doing today that is going to help in a small way move you forward, right? That will help you create momentum and help you to rev up, right? So that you can start to see that change show up in other areas of your life. I trust that you heard what you needed to hear today. Um, and uh, I know I, I gave you a lot of information to think about this morning. And I really appreciate the fact that you're here with me, but I appreciate that you give me the opportunity to coach you on Monday morning. And so this might be one of those mojos you play back and really think about each of those stages and how you can start moving through. And in what area of your life do you feel most stuck right now? And to help you with that, I'll recommend, and you'll find it um, on our Mojo page. And if you can't, just reach out to me. Um, but there is in our files section on the Facebook page, um, which is Monday Morning Mojo with Anna Gibbs. You can join the group if you haven't done that yet. Um, in the files section is the Wheel of Life exercise. And so this could be a great time, right? Spring is here, new beginnings for you to take that assessment. I would recommend taking it every quarter. 
and for you to really take an honest look at where you are in each area of your life and how can you move that needle? Now, remember, it's not about a quantum leap. It's not about saying, well, I feel like a five right now in my finances, so I need to figure out how to make it a 10. No, if you can go from a five to a six, are you, are you making progress? If you can go from a six to a seven, an eight, right? That's really the goal. It's about progress, not perfection. And that wheel of life exercise may show you right now where you need to put some attention. So I know we have a couple of people on Zoom with me this morning. Um, and if you would like to share anything, I wanna give you a moment to do so before we sign off and go on to our day. Jill, good morning. Good morning. I love the, again, the presentation was wonderful. It helps, I think, I was taking notes, uh, to be curious, but, but uh, just a quick comment when you talked about brushing your teeth every day. Brush your teeth with the opposite hand that you normally brush with. Mm. That will give you some insight. And I'll leave it at that. Cool. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> Just shake, really shaking it up and challenging right. yourself, right? I love that. That's so, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks. <laughs> Anybody else? All right. Well, listen, I appreciate you being here this morning. And again, I want you to think about where you can apply what we talked about this morning in your routine starting today. And I would love for you to share your ahas, what you got out of this session on the Facebook page, share what new things you're implementing this week, how it feels and be honest. Cause it, you know, I think everyone, when they're honest, will find that you're not alone, that it is fearful. It is, it is weird to come out of a comfort zone, yet you have to know why it's important to you. So thanks again for being here. And if you find value in this Monday morning mojo, share the recordings, share the Facebook page. I love seeing the community continue to grow. We're well over a thousand people now on that Facebook page. And it's awesome. And I learned something by doing this for you every Monday too. So thank you for giving me the opportunity to, you know, step up and uh, be at the top of my game too. So have a great day and I'll see you back here next week. Thanks everyone. Thank you. See you later. Bye-bye. Yeah. -bye. <laughs> yes.